Second Thessalonians chapter one Paul and Silvanu and Timoteo to the assembly of the Thessalonike in God our Father and in Lord Yeshua anointed Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from Lord Yeshua anointed. We are being obligated to be giving thanks to the God always concerning you, brothers, just as it is being appropriate, because your faith is growing exceedingly, and the mindful love of each one of all of you toward each other is abounding. So as for we ourselves to be glorying in you in the assemblies of the God for your hopeful perseverance and faith in all your persecutions and in the afflictions which ye are enduring, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the God to the end that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the God for which also ye are suffering, if so be that it is a righteous thing with God to recompense affliction to the ones afflicting you and to you the ones being afflicted relief with us at the revelation of the Lord Yeshua from sky with messengers of his power, while he is rendering by a fire of a blaze vengeance to the ones that know not God and to the ones obeying not the announcement of our Lord Yeshua, who shall suffer punishment, even eonic destruction, from the face of the Lord and from the glory of his might, when he shall come to be glorified by his holy ones and to be marveled at by all the ones having believed, because our testimony to you was believed in that day. Toward which also we are praying always about you, that our God may count you worthy of the calling, and he might fulfill every desire of goodness and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Yeshua may be glorified by you and ye by him, according to the grace of our God and of Lord Yeshua anointed. We are, however, asking you, brothers, concerning the coming of our Lord Yeshua anointed and our gathering together to him, to the end that ye be not quickly shaken from the mind, nor yet be troubled, either by spirit or by word or by epistle, as from us, as that the day of the Lord hath stood in. Let no man beguile you in any way, for it will not be except the falling away come first, and the man of the lawlessness be revealed, the son of the ruination, the one opposing and exalting himself over all things, whether anything being called a god or an object of worship, so that he sitteth in the temple of the god, exhibiting himself that he is a god.